Okay, it looks like we're live from what I see. You done your banging over there? Me? Yeah, what are you banging? Just, I'm loud. I do is loud. We live together for eight years now, you know that. Eight years, gross. <laughs> Welcome back to my nightmare. It's Lunch Pail with, uh, Hannah, Hannah, and, uh, Come on, you got this. Hannah, Hannah, I know you have a YouTube channel somewhere, don't you, Hannah? I do. Yeah? Do New I do videos. More? What do you like, bro? Science life? New videos on the next vernal equinox. <laughs> yeah, I don't upload. I don't. Should. I have a lot of fun when I do. Pretty limited. Actually, you know what? I packed up a Oh, yeah? Purge, yeah. All my important audios. Stuff I you. I am doing stuff right now. It's your girlfriend. Huh. You hey, say hi. something again? Hello. Okay, hi, that's Dina. Good. Where are you going? Do you oh, notice anything you? different? I know how to crawl through grass. So impressive. It's supposed to be a high definite for definite for 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 definite for 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 somebody hit the restart button on me. High definition. Update. Es five. Oh, I actually, you know, colors do seem more vibrant, but I'm wearing glasses this time, and I don't. It could just be that. Oh, you're like, oh, I'm seeing so much now. Well, I find sitting here with the headsets on for two hey, it's hard, you know. but I found two or three pairs of my glasses that are actually okay to sit here with. Yeah. And now I've been wearing this. Instead of going blind, my other blue ones are better than these ones. I should have got those, but... Give me a hey, minute. Wiggins, how you doing, my friend? Wiggins, hello. And Dash, hello. Dash, I haven't guys. seen you in a while. Hey, that round building... Appreciate you hanging out. Four likes on the stream. That's great, guys. And Dash, you owe me some matches on Dragon Ball. You gotta catch a Monday Night Casuals, my friend. You know, Monday Night Casuals. I hate to be swinging other live streams that I do here, but here, Monday Night Casuals. You see it, it's open arena all night. Sliding backwards. I saw you in... What the hell is that thing? Oh, okay. I ran into a trap. A what? Explosive trap. Trap. Watch where you're walking. Oh wait, there's enemies there. I gotta play. I forgot. <laughs> and lunch pail, get with it. Oh my god, are you spotted already? Wow, oh. man. Man, as in woman, Dina. I just got a Zoiberg through everything. I ran into a trap. A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. You need to train more, Dash? I don't believe it. You're pretty good at the game already. Not like this game. I gotta wait for him. I'm not watching that enemy oh, in the shit. distance. What the fuck was that? I ran into a trap. It's different when I was playing the first game, because it's traps. like all in memory. This Watch one, you're walking. yeah, like you've been playing first one for years like eight years. No, nope. yeah, thanks, Dina. You're really not giving away our position. <laughs> Glad you got her. What would you do without her? What was the joke? If I had two bullets, I sh shoot Dina twice. Oh my god, a bottle! I haven't seen one of them. Well, don't worry, you're gonna have to use the right one. Batched. Don't like that mechanic about this one. Just conveniently something there, never you need it. Or she wouldn't need it. I'd rather it give me, like, lots of it. Give me everything. I don't like how Dina's just standing up. Yeah. 
And what the hell did I just pick up? Why are you standing up? I'm trying to sneak, Dina. At least even when you... It's like running high. I was thinking about that, like, actually, in the first game. A lot of the encounters, if you were traveling with people, you would go ahead and clear the room by yourself. Yeah, but he was, Allie was, what, this four years in the future? At that point in time for women. Are you looking at this trap? We're going to have to do it. Oh, there's another trap right there. Here I was canceling the encounter. That's, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, God. What a throw. I saw last night on Casuals of Wigan, she played um, okay. Dragon Ball with us. What was that, Hannah? Last night on Dragon Ball. So I saw you had a match. Oh, I've. Wiggins was there. He's usually yeah. like, I'm not even live, and Wiggins here, <laughs> waiting. He's like, I gotta, I gotta get that lunch pail guy. I gotta beat him again. And there were some good three. rounds, Wigan. That, that was awesome. I guess the encounter's over. Is maybe that TV that you watch for the air tracks from time yeah, to time? Yeah, probably, I would say. But it sucks. I used a, a water bottle, or my actual bottle. Where are you going? Hey, hold on a second. Why is she bruised? It's cuffed to a chair. Had that really hard encounter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a penis? Yeah. Scars. A rocket That penis. is a nice doodle. It's funny how she doesn't keep many. She kept that. Well, I'm always going to want to go back and look at that. That's true. I mean, it is a penis with a rocket on it. I didn't see any, but it's hard to tell. Take a quick look. Start encounter. One minute. I think we gotta get down this. Okay, I guess that means I go first. Oh, shit, Ellie. Can I climb up it? Come on. Watch this. Watch. I'll just run towards it. Now body plant into it. <laughs> Oh, uh, that th wasn't as cool as I thought. No, I thought that was going to be really funny. I didn't Where think she they would. she just drops think... and falls. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, she gets back up. Oh. Uh, they. That spot. Yeah, it makes you wonder, eh? The little things that they spend time on that you can't bug out. Is Leah chick? What if she's gone by the time we get there? Leah? Who's Leah? Right Remember, yeah. Lee was buff. I don't believe you, Wiggins. I watched it. So yeah. You won one of them. He won the set. Did he win the set? Yeah, it Maybe it's Nero I'm thinking that won one. Nero? No, Nero never wins matches. No? No. It was another person that I thought that was. Oh, Unless Nero's awesome. here, then Nero wins all the matches. <laughs> I don't know if Nero's here, though. Like you. What am I, I doing? What is always, this mechanic? Okay, continue it all, Hannah. Huh? I always said that I would play Dragon Ball with you for one of those. Oh yeah, we gotta do a live stream maybe on that. What do you think, guys? It was just him. Wait, he lived alone in an entire Next Dragon Ball live stream, I'll say if I can get twenty likes, I'll make my girlfriend play the game. There you go. That's a deal. Wiggins, I appreciate people who are good like you guys at fighting games. I'm not. I have fun when I play them. Um, but it's not my 
You know what you should do, Hannah? You should do a live stream with, like, all them old fighting games that you actually like to play. Oh, yeah. Airgex and Tekken. Hey. Air, air what? Airgex. Who do you think it is? Uh, What's an Airgex? Um, yeah, so anybody who's never heard of that, it's an old PS1 game where you... It's like a um, arena style fighter where you get to use all the old Squaresoft characters. So like all the Final Fantasy VII characters are there. Zack is there. Um, Dasher and Nova. Like there's, it's pretty cool. And actually, if you there's a way to get to fight Sephiroth in that game, you have to win. Oh God, what is it? You have to beat Yoshimitsu in under two minutes and ten seconds or something, and then you end up fighting Sephiroth. Who's Yoshimitsu? I can't remember what game Yoshimitsu was from originally. It's hard. Uh, yes, Wiggins, I used to play Tekken. I absolutely loved it. Tekken 3 was one of my favorite games. So <laughs> She's talking it. about, like, Tekken old yes, ones. Yes, one Tekken, yeah. yeah. The okay. ones you would play in the arcade in the 90s when yes. there was arcade. Yeah. Thousand. Tekken three, Tekken one, any any other ones? Uh, Tekken two and Tekken three. I think Tekken three is what I played them. No, Tekken two is what I played the most. I'd have to go back and look at them. But Eddie's my guy. I love Eddie. I don't know what an Eddie is. Oh, Eddie's the guy with the dreads that break dances. I love him. If you're really good with Eddie. You can get into a rhythm where you're just like going up and down that it's just you're so hard to hit. I don't believe her, Wiggins. Unless you tell me. Because Wiggins, I believe you. Is there somebody named Eddie? didn't have a full blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this kind of resistance. I'm glad the fireflies are gone. No. It's not counter chickens, though. It's like less encounters and more just like walking through. See the TV station? Wiggins, I miss arcades too. Yeah. I spent a lot of time in arcades growing up. There was one, I lived right behind the mall here, one of the malls. And I used to walk down all the time after school. I spent my entire, until I was waiting to go to cadets, I was at the arcade. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just had to test that. Continue. Uh -huh. You cadets? Oh, well, no, we're talking about arcades and how much we oh. miss them. More bodies. I see, like Wiggins, I, and I've said it a hundred times, but I'm so much more of a retro gamer. Yeah. I think we both are, in a sense. I mean, you, you play the retro games and stuff like that, but you're always playing something. I... Never play something new unless you force me. Do you know what I mean? Or unless it's like a title that I have to continue. Look, I'll always play the Tomb Raiders. Um, Stop. What else? Tripwire. That might be it, Shit. actually. Well, Final Fantasy. I had to do that for, for obvious reasons. Um, but I don't really pursue new games. Like, you're always downloading indie games. and So I'm almost exclusively a retro game. You're a very mixed bag. It's very impressive. I like having a lot of things in my bag. Yeah. What I is going I'm... on? Can't go back. It's dumb. They've really got this area covered. Probably don't cut through here much with all this. Never. There's that silver line. Want to see this trick? Hmm. Oh, there's tripwire there, isn't it? There was door back there. I see. I hate these parts of games where it's like a left and a right, but you don't know which way it progresses. And there was a brick back there too. Tricky to see. Did you ever play Tekken Wiggins or? Yeah, 
I know what you mean, Megan's. Like, I... Um, yeah, I feel like I never... No, I, like, there was a couple of games that I played online, but then I just, I kind of got out of it. Grab any game. Let's play for my... This one. Some games I like playing online. Like, I've got some friends back in the city we... Back in... I was playing... What the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? This is... Stand on a couch, I can't... That's what I'm saying, it's just... Is it dead now? How'd it die? Let out? They bleed out? In one spot? It must be. Wigan says he's played Tekken a lot, one of its first fights. That's really cool. Who's your favorite character? Who do you usually use? Not Eddie. It's the man. Shut your mouth. Get your shit smiling grin out of here. the saying. That's how it goes. This is dumb. Like, why aren't the north notes a little bit more organized? I think what my first fighting game I think I had one for Super That'd have been. Six five fifty five oh one. Keep going. Here. Wish I can't hear you. Were you saying something? Or? It was five one. This is point. Five one? Five one. Okay. What was the last one? Five one. You're wrong. Oh, oh six five five. Let's look at that note again, because I thought it said the last six digits. And there was seven digits. 501. 655501. Five, five, oh, That's what you put in the first time. So try the first. Oh, wait a second. The last two digits are gone. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why do I have to do this? 5501 five, oh, and then just click 90 times? I guess. It's dumb. Five five oh one. Oh one. Oh one, yeah. Uh, he says he used Eddie in Tekken three. You have to do this. Oh wow. No, this can't be right. Five five. Oh, I can't even remember the second digits. Six five. No, five five. Unless there's another memo somewhere, but it's... five five oh one. That's a phone number though. Two oh six five five five. That's what I'm saying. It's like the code is the last six digits. Okay, yeah. Oh Stacy's phone. Okay, I just never read anything. Six oh five five. Zero one. Um, well, no, that narrows it down to only his phone numbers are can only be ten, right? So you don't have like ninety five, ninety. Still would. Yes, you still would. You had me for a second there. Yeah, no, I thought I had a rebel. <laughs> I 
I don't think I know who Akuma is Wigan. Way in the early. V Fighter, maybe? No, he's talking about Tekken 7. Akuma is Street Fighter, though. I haven't played one of the Dragon Ball games, and that's gotta be 15. The last one you played? Bye. Udakai. Bye, Tenkai. Udakai, that's, that's weird. Oh, it's already in there. Why do I have to accept cookies? No, that drives me nuts. Wow. There must be another note somewhere. So she said it's Stacy's phone. Five five. Stacy's mom, she's got it going on. Is that not right? Does Stacy's mom not have it going on? Damn it! Focus. High five. You're one. Why does it start at the same number I was at? Like a lock combination. Yeah. We'll look around for the last digits, but here's what it is. This is a jip. It said I'd get a long gun holster in here. Uh, maybe not on grinder. Oh, right. We are on grinder mode. Wait, is this grinder grounded. mode? <laughs> this isn't grinder, grinder mode? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on uh, grounded mode. So here we are. As I try and figure out how to load up my guns. Oh my god, I got so much ammo now. I can miss so many shots. Doctor's office? Must be. Let me burst in. Should let you just shit in it. Oh, here it is. Oh, three, three. <laughs> yeah, I looked it up online, but here it is right here. What did I break? Wigan says Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is his favorite Dragon Ball. I think you own I, a whole bunch of them, don't you, Hannah? I do. You have one, two, and three? Is there nothing we can play him on? Oh no, one of our PS3s is backwards compatible. We fix it, that's right. That's right. <gasps> oh, next try. More of this stuff. Antho! <gasps> I got distracted, Antho. I got so excited. And I heard your name. Yes, he is still playing this nonsense game. Yes. Whoa, I'm in a, like a trap. Bang, bang, bang. Her. I wouldn't shoot you, but I'd shoot Dina twice. Can I just climb in here? Is this part of the narrative? More of this stuff. Huh. Oh, you open it. Open sesame. Oh, man, it's like a little... It's our apartment. It's not a bad plot spot. Here's where we sleep. It only has, like... There's all the dirty clothes, right, that we don't clean. And here's where we stream at this corner. <laughs> That's dumb. There was an open window there, wasn't there? Am I blind? What's in there? No. It's the room that you just in where you save it. Uh, it could be. Thanks, Anthel. I always want to be cute when I wake up in the morning. 
Watch this move. Yeah, right in the puddle. Hey, I can't go down there. I should just be like, hey, Dina, go across there for a second. <laughs> Bottles and bricks? Yeah, that's because it's getting you to, uh... How come I can't switch? Can't, because the brick is more damage in the first game. Is that right here? Oh yeah, close up. Smart. That works. Where the hell did that second bottle go? You think someone heard that? It was pretty loud. It's gone. Keep your eyes peeled. That's how I say it in English? Yeah. If you consider my talking English, then yes. I just think it's random gibberish. Can I push her in there? Giblish. I can't push her. I actually don't see it. It's really weird. Maybe it's not the one you're supposed to hit. Glow, so doesn't it? So maybe that's it right there. Oh. My pride. Never thought I'd die to a tripwire before. Okay. Last time I was too close to it, Hannah, so I'm going to try and throw it from farther away. Is that what happened? Oh! <laughs> it's kind of a stupid mechanic. Put it I can't. Imagine if, after everything that she'd been through, that was how she died. I know, and it's like... I feel like I'm the same distance away as I throw that first one. The second one, though? I gotta get real close to get a lock on it. That's it there. Just a weird mechanic. Somebody should mow the lawn here though. Is it this the way that we go? I think I should just be a new religion and language. It's my language. What's a dead language? Gaelic. That's not dead. You said you're trying to study it. You said you're trying to study it, so it's not like fully dead, eh? Well, I mean, people still study Latin, but it's a dead language. It means that there's no civilization still in existence that depends solely on it. It's dead. What about, like, Egyptian? That's not Gaelic. Oh, are you talking about hieroglyphics? Yeah. Hieroglyphics would be a dead alphabet. What would be a Hannah is a Hannah? There it is. Oh, I missed that, yeah. A Hannahism. Maybe like getting drunk and drinking wine or something. Or... Feels empty. Feels so empty here. You see a way in? I can already know. Channel 13. 15. Is it 15 or 13? 13. You should check the map and just be like, oh, that's the wrong TV station we're trying to get to. 
I hope there's tripwires that I run into. Those <laughs> lunch palish will never die. Only the actors on YouTube that play him. No, he means your language, your lunch palish. Oh, well, no, I, like, I want to be Duff, man. It's like, lunch pail, YouTube channel, never dies. Only the actors that play the games there. And yes, he's right, lunch palish would be whiskey. <laughs> I know, I love, I love, um, Hank Azaria, man, like, the amount of characters that he can do, and I've watched extensive, uh, interviews with him, because he's just, he's one of my favorite celebrities and people, like, um, and a lot of his characters are based on people that he's met throughout his life, like Comic yeah, Book I Guy. Yeah, I remember that interview, yeah. Yeah, Comic Book Guy is, uh, the guy that lived across the hall from him in university, and he was just so snooty. No, it was his roommate. His roommate. And he'd come home to nasty letters on the door before he walked in. And uh, yeah, I, the guy always talked with that snooty inflection. And so funny. I just like Duff, man. Duff. Especially that part where Barney wasn't drinking. He was DD for the night. Oh, God, yeah. And then Duff the man music shows up kicks to get in there. outside. Hell's bar. Oh, not tonight. Duff man, Ant, though. He's um, the beer spokesman on The Simpsons. The guy in the tight. Uh, he looks like he wears a superhero costume. And Fuck. He's always got that stupid music playing behind him. Tommy do this? That's the best music. That's the one I listen I know, to you when love I pull that up music. in my work truck. Surprise, that's not laughing. your ringtone. And what? Oh, is that an arrow? Oh, can I get a bow and arrow? No. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's Tommy. It's Tommy. It's Tommy. Where's... That's not Tommy. Uncle Tommy. Was that Tommy? That's not Tommy. No, like, it's Tommy. Oh, We're I see. We're seeing the like, remnants what? of Tommy, right? Oh, yeah. Bob Patino. I love that. That's what I've been calling him ever since I found out that that's what Sideshow Bob is on the Spanish Simpsons. Bob Patino. Seems like a better name. It's super cool. Oh, Hank Azaria. Um, he's one of the guys that does the most voices on the Simpsons. He does like Mo the Bartender, um, Clancy Wiggum, Duff Man. He does like everything. Kirk Van Houten, uh, Apu, um, he does the vast majority of the minor characters, comic book guy. He does like every special guest, or not special guest, but like if it's a different character, like a... If they write somebody into the storyline for a new reason, just like a yeah. one-off, like Frank Grimes. Frank Grimes, that's yeah. a perfect example. Yeah. And Frank Grimes Jr. Jesus. I remember reading the comments from that guy that told me to save my bottles, and I was like, dude, I haven't seen any. And here we are. I've already seen like 15 bottles. <laughs> Wiggins, four laws of lunch paleism. Uh, drink whiskey. Two, don't join Hannahism. Three, obey rule one. Four, <laughs> obey rule two. <laughs> Listen, it loops around like that. I liked it. Sideshow Bob. He says Sideshow Bob is annoying. I love Sideshow Bob. Lunchpail and I are both very big lunch or um, Sideshow Bob fans. I feel like he should make an appearance once a season. Well, Ansel, what's some of your favorite characters? And then you'll be able to tell what voice actor he likes the most, right? Antho, Apu was one of my favorite characters too, and this whole, and I don't like to get political, but the whole thing that has just recently happened where they're going to make Hank step down from the role of Apu and like Harry Shearer is no longer allowed to voice like Dr. Hibbert or any of the non-Caucasian characters really, um, that really hit home for me with The Simpsons. Like, yeah, it's, it's weird because... Uh... I just, to me, they're voice you actors. You're, you're, you're acting. doesn't matter what you yeah, are at that right? point. And you're by a joker. All means, or... Yes, people of minorities should absolutely be given 
every upper hand in life that they can absolutely get. But this is already a well-established television show. I've been watching those characters since literally the first 30-minute episode of The Simpsons aired three months to the day before I was born. I grew up watching the show. So for the characters to change, like like Marcia Wallace passed away. They don't have Edna Krabappel anymore. To me, like, that's hard. That's stupid, though. This just happened. Yeah. I just it it's well, this, hey, I wow. don't even care. I mean, this, the, the series has been going on for thirty years, but what's 32. the point of what's the point of writing off a character because they died? Would you would you think that they would want that? No, would you want that? You're right. She would so want that for that character. That's mm -hmm. just gone. Uh, you're right. right. They should have found somebody that sounded similar. It's the same and way if somebody her. gets fired or something from voice acting, right? Yeah. They just get replaced at that point. Yeah, and it, it, it ruins things for me. I think the only time I never noticed a voice actor being replaced was when Finn on Adventure Time was replaced. And it was his brother that replaced him and finished the series, his brother in real life. Why? Uh, because he just, he uh, the kid got old and he went off to school or something to do something. Like he... It's dumb. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you never noticed. I never noticed. I never noticed. Yeah. It I mean, we haven't watched the handoff. whole series yet, though, have we? No, but we watched it during the handoff. Did Anthel give you any more favorite characters, or he being shy? I think he said that poo. Yeah, right? Wiggins, they are really key parts. Like, that's, I don't know, that's super important to me. Like, yeah, and Lunch Pail, you're right. Like, I... You know, had they have replaced Marcia Wallace, I would have been really upset. Like I, I'm to me, I'm actually kind of glad I don't that, see that the woman character. That died. Yeah. No, and I, I, I wouldn't be upset. Like she died, filled the role with somebody I, else. I, as a consumer, would be upset. I would be in her shoes. I'm sure that she wanted that character to continue. If it were me, if I was doing a beloved character like that and I died, I would want somebody else to pick up the torch and run with it. But me, as a consumer, and being like such a massive Simpsons fan. I, it would be very hard for me to hear <laughs> <laughs> another voice coming out of Edna Krabappel. Very much like how it's really hard for me to hear another voice coming out of Dr. Hibbert right now. Like, I just, I can't. How far are you? You've been watching Simpsons, and I, you said you weren't going to watch it all, but it seems like you're going through it, are no, you? No, I'll stop after they stop. After they make up who no longer a character, I won't watch it anymore. It's coming soon, like 24? No, it's like 28. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's 28, I think. Dumb. Can I do that going down the stairs? Antho says, my favorite character would be the spider pig. I love Antho, I love the spider pig. Um, that one guy from the Simpsons movie that gave four options to the president. Apu, Bob Patino, Patino, I love, you know what, that's so funny that you say that because all day I've been walking around the house going, Farfalla, 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 Vendetta, Vendetta for me, Papa. And I just, uh, anyway, I love little Bob Patino. Um, no, they're in Italy. They escaped to Italy. Or no, they go to Italy to pick up the car for Burns. Mr. And then, Burns, yeah. Yeah, and Bob's the mayor. I love that episode. He's a character Papa. that should have been brought back like once a season. I think mm -hmm. we talked about that before, maybe on a I different I said that lecture. like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. We were both big Bob Patino fans. Homer's a great character. He's he's a solid. I like the blue-haired guy who's... Oh, Millhouse. Millhouse. Yeah, Millhouse is my favorite. Oh, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. But I Who do love Millhouse. Who voices Millhouse? Pamela Hayden. And she's okay. fantastic. She's incredible. She does um, Jimbo, does Dolph, um, some of the kids, the other like random kids and stuff like that. Um, but if you ever watch interviews with her, she's the most beautiful little thing. Like she's cute as a button. And just like as she's acting Millhouse, she's all like bouncy and like she's really, she's cute. I like Pamela Hayden. See, I, I wanted to ask Ansel that because I figured he would say... Same actors. That. Like, for me, I like all the voices of Hank. Yeah. Like all them characters, right? Like, oh, but again, Man, they might Dumb not have watched. Guy. Like, I don't know if they're watching the. Because I know, like, it's different voice actors in the over. That's true. The dubs and oh stuff my like god, that. I forgot never, that there's more than one that language is why in the world. You didn't know who Hank Azaria is. That just blew my mind. That just blew wow. my mind. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, oh shit. One of the most talented humans on the and Tress McNeil, another voice on that show. God, I love that show. That's so amazing because they I probably know. haven't been cursed with the uh, like uh, actor re. They're probably not dealing with the recast like we are recasting or anything. They just uh, have the same voice actors for everything. Yep, their language, right? I hope so. Yep, because it's really hard for us. Like me, I, like the first time I heard somebody else voice in Doctor Hibbert, I had li like literally cried. Like it just ruins it for me. Ooh, he's real dead. Drippy dead. The door's locked, and I just don't want to jump down. Wigan says, yeah, I just saying, Wasacho Bob needs to learn what life is like without Bar. I get ya. Like, I like how... I feel like it, they could have used him a little bit better. Uh, because they did that episode where at the dam and they were going to, Cecil was trying to blow up the dam. Oh, yeah, he brought his, his uh, brother from the show, Frasier. Yeah, that was a Miles great come show. Over. Yep, that was a wicked episode. And then Cecil was the bad guy and Bob actually saved the kids. And to me, I felt like they should have really given Bob, yeah, like it was cool that he went back to prison, but they should have given the character a little bit of redemption or made him go crazy in yeah, another way that he Just went out for somebody else. Bring, but, him up. bring him back once a season. No, that's but Wiggins all. had said, give him, give him a purpose in life besides Bart. And I agree with oh, him. Oh, yeah. Well, right? that's kind of what he had in Italy, right? Because he had a family. But, yeah, but no, but remember, he tried to kill Selma. So why not give him some other people that he was trying to, you know, just sets his random sights on. He, you know, he framed Krusty, he tried to kill Selma. And then all of a sudden, Bart is his one and only target. I agree. That was weird. Like that. Pick up that little cutie. Just a shotgun bullet. Can't take the actual gun? That's really dumb. For real? Why would you take two shotguns, right? In case one breaks or jams? Yeah. Give it to Dina instead of her crappy pistol work. Antho says their voice actors are different and they've been the same ones there forever. Yeah, Antho since That's day right. one. We, we didn't understand that, right? We were talking yeah. like English well, is the only it thing. It just, yeah, it never, never it occurred, never occurred to, to us. Yeah. Um, but Antho, they have been here too, except for the guy that voiced Mo Sislak in the first season was such a jerk that he actually, he, he, he lost his job because of it. He was just such a, a pompous asshole. Um, and Who then, did that? Uh, I forget. It's a different name for the first, like, three, four episodes. So watch okay. when Mo has black hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Hank Azaria takes over, and it's the best thing that ever happened to The Simpsons. He's Dr. Nick. He's comic book guy. He's Julie. Oh, he's not Julie. Tipper. He's um, Carl. He's, oh, my God. He's everybody. Like, he's everybody. What is that? What is that? Did you hear that noise? Did you hear that? Hear that? Oh, she doesn't break Get the last one. one. It's a ham radio. Can I get a bow and arrow? This game's Sorry. dumb. That's yeah. not Leah. That's not Leia. Leia is the big buff run. <laughs> Wigan says it'd be funny if they devote an episode where Bob falls in love with Bart. He's always been so devoted, or devoted so much. Bart had some good episodes too, like the one where uh, he steals Swanwick's car and he goes gets gets married. Oh yeah. Remember he's driving away, or they're driving through the canyon. <laughs> yeah. But it? I need strawberries. <laughs> in the middle of the canyon wife, in the desert. Please. I finally oh, understand I finally what my dad. That. <laughs> Um, Over. yeah, and though they're iconic here too. Are you guys, are you guys dealing with the same thing as us? Yeah. Like in, in North America, they're forcing the voice actors to step down if they're not them. like Dr. Hibbert is African American and they want an African American mm -hmm. voice actor. I'm, I'm sure he's not even going to be able to be Dr. Nick because Dr. Nick is from yes. Venezuela. Like it's just, it sucks. Yeah. Wow, guys, six likes on the stream too. We appreciate that. That's her. That's the one who killed him. 
Abby. I hope it cuts to her and she's like a bench pressing or something. Abby Kablammy. Uh. I hope it is the most gruesome scene I've ever seen in a video game. Shit. When we kill her. Well, uh, I don't mind the game so far. It just seems out of place. Like, me seeing Joel dying should have been the end of the game. No, I get it. It's a tale of revenge. Like, this feels like it's Last of Us Part 3. Last of Us Part 1 was like Joel's game. Yeah, you know what? It would have been nice. They'll probably do a mid-series of it that's like the establishment of Jackson and everything like that. Yeah, um, but that should have came first. I mean... I agree. No, I agree. Um, if you want... It, what should have came first is this whole Abby shit. Like, it should have just been a whole game based on... Uh, her vendetta against Her Abby. camp. Right? Yeah. yeah. Instead, it was like... It's like, who the <laughs> hell is she? Who is she? And we already have a great voice actor just gone. Roy Baker is one of the best. Antho says, here there are close to zero problems with acting. Racism is US and UK exclusive. You're not wrong. It's terrible. But I'm very glad that things aren't trending there the way they are here. You get to uh, always. Watch each other. How are we getting out of here? Get wow. and call this in. I'm gonna have to stop my train of thought here. <laughs> Finally, we have an encounter. Cutting them down. Make sure the building's clear first. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Six. I think there's one down in the left corner that can't see. I would say six to be safe. I, I see a I... bottle. Like Batman. And this is look at it like this. You can always watch the Spanish. You know what? We'll check it out. I would love to see Spanish dub. And here's the thing, I know the episodes well enough to know exactly what they're saying. So it, I could learn Spanish, I bet, by watching Spanish since it's holy shit. What about me? Do you think I know? Right yeah, you would probably be able to follow the full episode for, I'd say, the first 15. You drop off a lot after 15, I don't. I, I, I'm happy with them, right up to season 24. Yeah, the first 15 are my favorite. Season did that 9 guy is your favorite. Up? Uh, I think he ramped behind you. Bob Patino. Come with me. I got your back. Is this a staircase? Okay. It's true, Antho. I would say... I do. I know the whole script. I would say... For the vast majority of episodes up to, I would say up to 18, I can quote almost anything from them. Wiggins, you speak pretty good Spanish. Well, where do you know Spanish from, Wiggins? That's really cool, Wiggins. You know, me and Hannah would have to believe it if you two just started talking Spanish in the chat. We would just be like, yeah, yeah. Actually, what? if you started speaking Spanish in the chat, I think I'd be able to decipher, like, basic conversation. I'd be able to decipher because I could speak French. I can read Italian. Spanish, I know, is... More... So Spanish is similar to French? No. Uh, well, yes, in a way. It's one of the European languages, but it... Um... Like, Italian and Spanish are closer than Spanish and French, but French and Italian are close enough that I can read Italian. You know what I mean? Like, their languages are very similar in that way, that some are very closely related to others. Why don't you test her out? Test her out, guys. Give her something basic in Spanish. In the chat. Ask her a question. Just oh. put anime 
her hand. Casita del Horror, is that what it's called in Spanish? I love it. Actually, I'm kind of confused. I don't think they come out this far, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Your girl's gonna Dina? find out for you, yeah. Oh, I thought that was me, like one of the enemies. So I'm no, like, I'm gonna jump on top of them and take care of them so fast. That's Dina, your girl, paving yeah, the way was... for you. I can't wait till she's gone. Oh, break off. Come on, Dina. Wow, the glass breaks. Nice. No, I just broke the ground. Oh, he typed something in there. I have no idea what that might say. I can Takaraputo, translate it. No, I would say, like, the things that I could read would be more like conversational things, like very basic, if you're starting to learn a language. Oh, okay, Maybe like how to stuff. order a hamburger if you're in a different country kind of thing. Yeah, I could probably function like that kind of stuff. Or, I mean, not say function, but like that kind of conversational stuff would be very much easier. Or, like, I think some colors and stuff would be fairly similar, stuff like that, but... <clears throat> Go to go. I'll see what's up. Sorry. All right, be careful. Wiggins, where are you from? Up there! Double up! Move it! Oh, she's got a rifle now. Nice. Oh, he yeah. said, lunch, you should have understood that much more so than me. That's... And they'll say something like... Is it Paranga? Just... Oh, the Dragon Ball. You just gotta let me know, Anthel. If we're doing a bit, Anthel, you gotta, like, message me on Discord. I'll load it up. Be like, hey, we're doing a bit. Trying to make Hannah laugh. Just go along with it. Be like, yeah, let's oh, do Wiggins it. is from the... It's in the States. Oh. Thanks, Dina. Good cover. And you're dead. Which one is the Spanish part? Castilla de Horro? That's a horror show. Casita. Casita called... del Horror. It's the Treehouse horror. of Horror. Treehouse of Horror? Treehouse of Horror. You know what? That was close. So that tells me I know a little bit of Spanish. Casita. Is this going to be one of them done things when I have to sneak through everybody? Makes sense. Oh, that's him. Oh, look at that. It's them. Okay. We got our opening. What are we talking about in chat? Spanish Simpsons or? Yeah. I love how these conversations go. <laughs> I know we get so random on these streams. Language has always been one thing that's fascinating. I just think it's absolutely incredible that humanity all over the world has learned to communicate so effectively and thoroughly, yet so differently. It's just the coolest thing. And how some languages are similar. Like I said, like English and Spanish are similar. English and Italian aren't similar, but French and Italian are. It's, it's just so cool. Wait, is that the Ferrero curry? That's uh, a new noodle, isn't it? Or it's behind the desk. That's it. Uh. Oh my God! You're for the infection. 
stop bullets. That's stupid. You think it would? You think so, huh? Like plot armor or something? Yeah. Um, and and the one thing that's cool, he says the RR sound is the nightmare of every native English speaker trying to speak Spanish. Um, the cool thing about that is like, yeah, there's two different ways to roll your R's. You can roll your R's at the front of your mouth or you can roll them in the back of your throat. So I study, remember we were talking about dead languages. I study Scottish Gaelic and it is a dying language, but it's much more of a guttural like in the back of your throat. Whereas like French and Spanish and Italian are that <laughs> up at the front. It's really cool. I think this game is rigged. I literally just walked down and all four of them were in the same spot. You should have jumped down on your belly. It's your own fault. I bet you yeah. could drop in like a sack of hammers, but as long as you're on your stomach, it won't trigger them. <laughs> yeah. I believe that too, actually. No, 100%. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had a Molotov cocktail. My favorite color, Wiggins, is turquoise. What's yours? Yeah, I gotta do that again. What about my favorite color? Nobody asked me. Oh, Antho, you use the air in the back? I thought Spanish would be more of a R up in the front. I'm better at the guttural R, or like that back of the throat. Than the... Ah. Be quick. His favorite color is black. Here's the thing. I can read some stuff like that in Spanish, but like, if I was to try to pronounce that, because I speak French, I would try to read that Spanish phonetically with a French accent, and it sounds ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh Come my here. god, that was... Yeah, I know, dumb. Oh, that was a sniper rifle shot. Yeah, but you shot him in the crotch. I don't care. That's a, like a high caliber pistol, isn't it? Like and a you know wide... a man can run six... What is it Teddy says in Brooklyn Nine-Nine? A man can make it six blocks without his genitalia. Oh, really? Yeah. What and episode was that? The one where Teddy and Amy start flirting and Jake gets jealous. They're at that police thing where they raid the building, the exercise. All right. And then Jake is like, that is an odd thing to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Christian, I don't know my favorite color. I'm just, I felt left out of the conversation. But we appreciate you hanging out as the, these guys got laser vision. Oh, Christian, I didn't see the, your message up there. Yes, he, Christian wants to know what's your favorite color. I told him I just felt left out on the conversation. Nobody asked what your favorite color is. And I don't know. Maybe like purple? That's bullshit. Turquoise? No. Where I've known you for a long time. You've never once told me your favorite color. Um, what about turquoise or turquoise? But all you wear is black, navy, gray. Blocking me. I don't understand what's happening. Okay. I don't know, red, I guess. And what's my favorite color, Hannah? You tell me. If Good I was boss. to guess your favorite color, I would actually say pink. Every time I buy you something in pink. Like that pink dress shirt that you wore till it turned to dust. Ah, oh, so close. Um, if you're picking out a nice outfit or anything for yourself, you almost always go for pink. But I wear like gray all the time. I know, but if you're going to dress up and like, if I'm like, okay, we're going somewhere, you actually have to not look like you're homeless today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> You have to look you like you're not going. homeless today. <laughs> hey, could you shave? Maybe shower. It's not, I don't care if you're shaved or showered. It's that you're not. He's homeless? got this thing. 
Ooh, and it's a touchy subject, but he'll wear sweatpants around, which is fine, whatever, but his pockets are always hanging out. They're, every one of them is hanging out. And he'll do it. I shouldn't even just say sweatpants. No, you do it with your jeans. There's one of these days coming. I'm going to go into his closet and I'm going to take every pair of pants he's got and sew the pockets shut. Then you'll know what it's like to be a woman because we don't have pockets in anything. It's not fun. Life sucks. Oh. I'm glad you pre-shot me. Thanks, Dina. Oops. You guys can keep talking. I'm just kind of absorbing one, two. Or telling. Um. Never mind. Vago? I would have assumed that that would mean either like game or something like that. That kind of reminds me of Jouet. French? I understand Hannah in Spanish. Uh, the cats here. My favorite colors turquoise, number one. Um, then. Like, hot pink and bright yellow are probably tied for a second. And, uh, gray would be my third. Oh. oh. Trying to get shot off. Ah. Uh. Oh, Lonchera. Really? Am I saying that right, Lonchera? So what made you want to learn Gaelic? Um, despite my odd personality and my tacky appearance, I'm a very traditional person. I love traditional music. Um, primitive cultures fascinate me, and I love nothing more than to study language and culture and music and its origins and stuff like that. Like, I think it's just one of the most beautiful things in the world. Over here. And... Gaelic is the language of my ancestors. It's... Oh, I had him. Yeah, I thought you got him. Ah, Got him then. What does Gaelic come from? Uh, there's different types of Gaelic. There's Scottish Gaelic, there's Irish Gaelic, and there's Manx Gaelic. Manx is wild. Um... Scottish is my favorite. Scottish is the Gaelic I chose to study. Actually, my ancestors, I am Viking descent. Viking, huh? Is that why you're so crazy? Oh, he says I was saying it right. Lonchera. I'm going to be calling it from on. Me? Yeah. That means lunch pail so. in Spanish. I learned. I learned Are something. you serious? Yeah. Isn't that cool? My name means different things in different languages. Yeah. Lonchera. I love that. Maybe I'll name that the second channel. Antho says, you and I are two different types of people, Hannah. I love numbers, letters. Scare me. Oh, you should have thrown a Molotov cocktail at those idiots. Can't throw fast enough. Ah. Not fast enough, far enough. Oh, where the hell did that come from? I don't know. Like, they have wall hacks in grounded mode. They'll follow you through a wall. And it's like eight guys here. Wigan says, Antho's num Antho numbers scare me. Letters are a welcoming hug. It's funny how, you know, we all take to different things and like I have a good memory for numbers. I was never really good at math growing up, but I was good at physics. Like We're under 
Well, you got three right there. I don't think they're gonna god die though. They're just gonna pat their back. What? Yeah, exactly. They didn't even stop, drop, and roll. I thought that was going to be a much larger part of my adulthood than husband. They teach you all the time when you're in school, like, you know, you're going to catch on fire, and this is what you do. Stop dropping I haven't caught on fire once. No, like all that stuff you learn in school, it's yep. not really Same thing, you know what? I thought quicksand was going to be a real problem in my adulthood, too, and it hasn't been so far. And, like, the Bermuda Triangle, that's another one. You got a fear of windmills. Yeah, I do. Terrified of them. Antho's a math guy. Are you, Antho? That impresses me. I like certain elements of math. I always really liked... Um, I, I just... I liked solving for X or solving for unknown equations. And I think that's why I took to physics. And I, I saw a reason behind the math I had to do. And... Oh, I don't know. I really, I really enjoyed it. But... Um, a lot of other types of math, I just, I don't give a shit about. <laughs> Chemistry, too? Really? That's really cool. Chemistry's one that I don't have the stomach for it. My first day in chemistry, we had a lab, and I mixed two clear liquids, and it turned into a smoking blue jelly, and I threw up in the garbage can in the middle of the classroom. Just like on The Simpsons, right? And he says, I'm bad at literature, philosophy, civic education. Really? So you and I are, yeah, we're very different because that's my, the artsy fartsy or like the historical and that kind of stuff. That's my bread and butter. <laughs> I thought, he said, I'm a meth guy first. And then he corrected it. He said math, but he's like, by the way, I wrote meth on purpose. I just had that joke stored up. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Algebra was my favorite. Like solving for unknown equations. And what was your worst subject, Hannah? Mm. Chemistry. Chemistry? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I signed up for, in grade 10 here, we would take what was called Science Integre, which was integrated science. And you would take a little bit of everything. And from that, I realized that I loved biology and I loved physics. So I took them both. But I did really good in um, grade 10 science. So when I applied for what classes I wanted to take in grade 11, they put me in advanced bio, they put me in advanced chemistry, and they put me in advanced physics. And I was like, I didn't sign up for chemistry, let alone advanced chemistry. I don't want to be in it. And they're like, oh, no, but you did so good in chemistry that we wanted to put you in there. Yeah. And they wouldn't let me drop the course. So I just stopped going. You fail? Yeah. Oh, God, I got a 26 that year. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and when I went in to write the exam, I said to the teacher, who I loved her, she was wonderful. I was like, do I really have to waste three hours of my life sitting here? I'm like, I'm not going to pass this class, even if I get 102 on the exam. And she's like, what happened to you? She was like, you were a star student in grade 10. And then all of a sudden I get you in grade 11 and you just nothing, nothing at the end. I told her how they had told me to give chemistry two weeks and if I didn't like it they'd let me change my courses and at two weeks to the day I went to the guidance office and I was like I don't like it give me a new class and they're like oh it's too late to change they would chemistry is dumb like biology I appreciate chemistry I really do it's like you have to be so smart in everything like it I don't know I appreciate what chemistry but it's not for me I loved biology I loved physics a lot of like number remembering stuff like that <laughs> Wiggins called Antho Mento. <laughs> uh, oh, Andrew's here. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Thanks for joining the stream. He says you're a professional masher. Bang of all fighters. That's proven by science. But listen, <laughs> I trust the science. If science tells me to do a thing, I do it. Two times over. Yeah? Speaking of this encounter, what's the science of this encounter? Sucks. <laughs> See if I can sneak by them as they come up the stairs. Of course, there's two of them. Wow, I 
shut his arm off. That was wicked. We should run though. They know where we're at. Hit the deck. Crystal one. Just I don't quite understand what they want me to do to get past this encounter yet. You go one way and it's just two guys. The only way I've seen is like in the middle. And there's only one person there. That's cool. Antho just put an equation there. It's like, my bread and butter would be this. Equation. I don't even know. What's the value of X? That's the whole point. You have to determine. So you have to isolate. You have to get to orders of operations and everything else. And What happens if there's two X's, though? X will always be the same. Uh, Wiggins asked if we see if anybody seen King Kong versus Godzilla. We have not seen that yet. We should. We really should. Super quiet. How this is even working, I don't know. <laughs> I hear it was really good, though, guys. What did you guys think of it? No spoilers, because I do want to see it. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, how'd you shoot me? Must have been like Angelita Jolie. Oh my god! That's okay. Nope, that's this way. Okay, don't shoot me. Like, I'm in the woods, wow. man. Jesus. Oh god, run. He just ducked. <laughs> Uh, You're supposed to run uh, the whole way. Yeah, you gotta keep it. I thought when you hit the dirt, those guys there didn't see you. And that yeah, was, that's yeah. what I thought, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't do this to me again. Oh, Antho says there's not one value of X, there are four. Oh, I guess, like, if you're talking, like... I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend to be a math whiz. In my opinion, I expected two meat sacks slapping bodies, and that's exactly what I got. What are you? you that is a fantastic you? description. I good. You and the chat, huh? You're out to get me. Why? It's like everybody else. Why? What? Oh, I don't know. What are you guys talking about? I just was more focused on getting through that scene. Oh, they're talking about Godzilla and King Kong. Oh yeah. Is it a good movie, guys? They said definitely... they enjoyed it. Wiggins has a really good review. He says, in my opinion, I expected two meat sacks slapping bodies, and that's exactly what it, it was great. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Sounds like Lunch Pail is going to absolutely. Oh, yeah, I love two meat sacks just slapping each other. Especially if it's raw meat. Do you oh, notice so how she still wears thing. her mask? I don't... She. I thought she already told Dina she's immune. No, she never. Oh, yes, yeah, she did tell her she was. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> what was the point of wearing a mask or never wearing a mask in the first game? Well, it probably still smells terrible. Sorry, I just farted. What team are you, Jared? Um. Kong? Yeah, I would be. No, I'd be. I'd be You're Godzilla. You're Hannah? No, I, deny I'd, your be, heritage. I'd be Team Godzilla. But you're I've an ape. I've never seen either. Yeah, I am an ape, but I'm Team Godzilla. I love dinosaurs. It's like a lizard. Yeah, and dinosaurs, or lizards are descendant from dinosaurs, same as birds. I'd be Godzilla. Lizard, except less cool. Really? You're King Kong? 
I mean, I shouldn't say one way or the other. I've never really seen it, but I would just always pursue it. Never really realized I had a side until you brought it up. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, Hint, watch the enemy pattern. I gotta use the bathroom. Okay. I'll be back. Well, I shouldn't press anything. One, two, three. I should just go kamikaze. If I knew anything, I'd try. Oh, four. Hallway. Get out of there. Four? Well, the cool thing is, is you can just stay here for... Two guys almost always stay to the left. One guy checks in out of... What's that, a train? One guy peeks back and forth. The guy with the backpack goes back and forth. Those two idiots both have backpacks and that guy checking. Oh my god, he's not inverted. Can't do that. Oh my god, wrong way. How can... Oh my god. How can somebody play not inverted? Don't understand. Jesus. Ah. Do here. Runners. Sorry guys, I'm not really watching that. Oh my god. I don't understand how somebody can Okay. I've done what he <laughs> Don't kill lunch. I uh, not though. Antho, you're Godzilla too? I'd take Godzilla. Godzilla's my guy. You don't play inverted, Antho? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I just... I, I In old games that don't give you the option, I literally, I can't play them. But I was in Air Cadets, and it really gave me the upper hand playing the flight simulator. I always whooped everybody there. Um... Because I guess most people aren't inverted and have to train themselves to do so, but... Here you go. There's four guys. No, I just stayed there. I'm so good at this game. I should play for the channel instead of you. Did they just, like, freaking follow me around when I'm playing? What were we talking about? Playing with Dina, literally. You should restart the encounter. So there's four guys. The guy with the backpack, one of them, he checks in and out to the right. There's one guy without a backpack that goes in and out of, I don't know, what is that, a train? But and this then there's two other guys with backpacks that always stay over to your room. Here's the thing, this game's stupid in a way that it... This encourages encounters. Oh man, like playing with Dina oh, scared the piss out of me. I was gonna say, I knew I heard undead here, but... If only I had a bottle. Yeah, and then you could sick that. Why isn't that thing? Oh, yeah, they're not. This is gonna be a shit show when sound breaks out. So, what are we talking about in chat? Sorry about that, guys. That We're talking dude. about whether you're inverted or not. Now I was trying to look around, and I kept on looking oh, down yeah, instead of up funny. and up instead of down because yeah. you're not inverted, and I am. And they were making and funny eyes. Yeah, none of these guys in the chat are inverted. That bl just blows my mind. But like, it's plain why you're inverted, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I just the way that I like, if I was to grab you by the skull, by the back of the head, and if I wanted you to look up, I'd pull your head back. I mean, you'd have to ask the chat. Does that make sense to them? Yeah, of course it does. This is going to be something dumb. I bet you got it like slow walk between them. And <laughs> says, Hannah, you were just built different. We were built without the knowledge. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's true. Yeah. 
Uh, the one issue I have with America is sometimes the country that doesn't normally want to talk about its issues. Yeah, you're not wrong there, Wiggins. I feel like poor America is just a country so divided. Oh, yeah? Oh, I should be, be like, I don't know, better at this game. Well, you should have restarted it when I said, because I can tell you. Going where? Well, there's clickers inside here. It's true. She like sleeping or they sleep? Do you think Ugh. they do? Actually, I don't know. Can I stealth her then? Is that what it's telling me? Give it a shot, guys. Here we go. Antho, I get what you're saying. He's like, if if I want to look left, I should just have to look left. But I don't know. Like, I guess I consider my... For me, if I wanted to explain how my body mechanics work and what makes me turn and look and, like, my movements happen from the back of my neck and my brainstem area. So if I'm looking left, it's, like, all happening from the right. I'm looking up, it's all happening from underneath, or down is from above, I don't know. I, I get what you're saying. Left should be left, right should be right, up should be up, and down. it's not. It's different for... Her. I remember trying to play, before I realized I was inverted, what was it? My cousin and I, one of my cousins, we look like, well, two of my cousins look like brothers and sister. Um, and it was a fighting game. And, not a fighting game, a shooting game. And it was at a time I didn't know that you could change the inverted. I just thought I was bad at certain kinds of shooting games and others not. Hmm. Red Faction. Red Faction. Did somebody in chat say that? And Quake, maybe? No, because I think I played Red Faction with Quake. And Quake I played with mouse and keyboard anyway. Difference. Um, Red Faction. And once we, I went in and I set the controls to inverted, I could, I could hit stuff. And I realized, like... <laughs> This is the first time in how long have I been playing this game? This is our fourth? Eight hours? I feel like I'm finally playing the game. Why am I getting so much ammo though? Uh, wood. Like this encounter feels smooth. It feels like the old game. And you know what? It's done, doing a mixture. I mean... A mixture between real humans and clickers you would never see in the old one. But it feels like a good encounter. Like, you'll see me. This is my stealth skills right now. I'm just really proud of this encounter. Way to go, Neil. They shouldn't hear me here. Hear me. <laughs> Audible mixed up. Uh, they shouldn't see me here. Oh, my tongue burns with the whiskey. Yeah, and though I do think it more of like an anatomy kind of thing. Like, even though I grew up a gamer, and I guess, like, yeah, that maybe that's the difference between us as you think. Whereas, like, I'm controlling this individual as where I look at it, so I am the individual. What did Antho say? He said, um, because I see it in general view, you see it more anatomically, like the motion to look up is pressing down. Yes. 
So I'm talking about, like, if I want to turn my head, which muscles engage versus which... Oh, what's happening? They keep running away from that clicker, eh? You can keep talking. I'll see what happens out of all this. Yeah, We're just kind of talking about why some people might be inverted and trying to decipher the difference. So Antho said he's like, when I look at it, I'm controlling the person. So I want them to move left. I hit left. Where I'm thinking, like, if I want to turn my head to the left, I'm engaging more the right side. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's, it, I don't know if that is that like some sort of brain or... thing or something. Or... You're the only person I ever met that was preferred inverted. Yeah, it's funny how rare it is. Like, most people that I meet are not inverted. And what impresses me so much is that you can adapt. Games that him and I have... This is insane. Games that him and I have played together... Um, like, I remember, like, Tomb Raider, the reboot, and all, like, a couple of others, like... I... You had to choose at the beginning of it whether you were inverted or not. You couldn't change it in the settings after the fact. And he actually adapted to the inverted because I couldn't adapt to the non-inverted so that we could still play it together. Like, but Borderlands here? Yeah, no, not Borderlands. You did it for Tomb Raider. Oh, yeah. Um, you did it for... There was another one that we played together. Might have been maybe another Tomb Raider, but there was like two or three games I know that we've played together where you have to kind of choose at the, the startup phase of the game. And you adapt to the inverted playthrough because I can't. <laughs> I'm just going to stay over here and play Oh, that. God, it's a door there. Come on, Dina. Dina. Here, boy. Okay, just to get back on top of it with the game for a second. Seems like this game is uh, not really encouraging encounters. You run away from everything, you know what I mean? Yeah, you kind of had to pit everybody against each other there. Yeah, I get you, Anthony. Who really cares? But to me, I just find it more fascinating than, like, it's interesting. Yeah, it's weird. I just didn't know if it was some sort of it's pain like, thing or something. You know, like you're saying, you're mathematically inclined, and that impresses me so much because it's like, wow, I, nope, oh, but you know what? Give me an instrument that has strings, and I bet you I can play it. You know what I mean? It's like languages, and just even when you get like animals, personality, and stuff like that. It shouldn't amaze you because different from the. I hope you made it out and find this. Let's got into minor dust up with some clickers, but we're still in one. Let's hold up here. For the long dead body of a man watched over. Some remind. I were doing it's this infection. It really was a warning. Better to leave the land. Zachary says if we keep heading north, get Seraph Campment. Next few days, he calls it Haven. They built it all themselves. Hearing him talk about it, it's hard not to get inspired and optimistic. I pray for your safety. I hate to think of what Isaac will do goons catch you. I'll be holding my breath waiting for the sign that you pray. Did you hear what they kept calling us? Scars. I wonder if that's who made all those murals. And gutted all those wolves. Everyone in this city's a fucking psycho. It's another tribe or something? Yeah. Okay. The fuck? Did you just go full circle? No. It's, um, 
It looks the same, but it's like further down the hallway or the tunnel. Oh, Antha says my microphone is fluctuating a lot. Is that better? Like, is she fading in and out? Because we can fix that. We can fix that. That's true. Why does inverted have a name and the other one has none? Because inverted would be the non normal version of it. That's a good point, Antho. <laughs> Listen, Antho, you sound like a guy that's been thinking about all these problems. <laughs> yeah, really, though. I just, the mic on this is a little funny, Antho. You kind of have to angle the arm on it, but then spin the mouthpiece towards you, too. And I think over time, I might have just banged it once or twice and maybe let us know if that's any better. That didn't sound like a bloater. What's weird is, uh, you remember I'm static? Mm. We don't have that anymore. Are you That's used to true. that, guys? No, I never even realized. That's awesome. It's something you guys would never hear, but with our But we last, used to hear it a lot in our own ears, yeah. Last audio setup, we would hear static. What's the plan? Got another ladder across there. Okay. So you just told me which way to go. Is that a workbench? Yeah, good point, Antho. What is normal? It is better, Antho. Okay, thanks, buddy. Anytime that happens, let us know. By all means, we're not going to take offense to that, guys. This live streaming stuff with multiple people, that's usually why when you see podcasts and stuff like that, they have somebody in the background literally listening live to mixing. it. Yeah. Yes. We just don't have that. Hmm. I don't know what to upgrade. Normal is very objective. And I'll tell you, Anth, the one thing I've always tried very hard in my life to do was be as far from what was considered normal as possible. That's why I have bright blue hair, covered in tattoos. Tattoos? Tattoos. Wear the most obnoxious, brightly colored clothes I can find. I have 42 pairs of glasses that I match with everything, not to mention every other tacky, obnoxious accessory I can find. I'm just yeah. like sweatpants and a gray shirt. Yeah. I'm no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's, uh, I'm naked, but I'm rusty on the bottom. <laughs> it's a lunch pail. Yes, Antho, everybody has their own idea of normal. My idea of normal has always been a little boring. Wow. Nice shot. Yes, it worked. Oh, God. No, don't. <laughs> Antha says your blue hair looks fire. My blue hair is like a bluish black. That's awesome. That's really cool, Antho. I had, when I was younger, I used to do the darker blues so that I didn't have to bleach it. Uh, but then I joined cadets and you only were allowed with natural colored hair. So I had to kind of go back to... Wasn't quite natural. I snuck like a uh, plum colored in there, but it was natural enough that they didn't. It wasn't natural in the sunlight, but in the dark, it kind of looked like a brown or a red. You were red for a while, though, weren't you? Yeah, I did do the natural redhead look for a while. And that was more so when I got into management roles after I get out and started working. And I wasn't, you know, having tacky colored hair was not professional. What about tattoos? Tattoos? Well, I can always hide those with my suits. Suits? Hannah, you're a girl. You don't wear suits. I did wear suits. I used to run seven telecommunication stores. I was in suits every day. You were in dresses. Well, I mean, pencil skirt suits, same thing. Just a little blazer, three piece. You're talking to me like I know what a pencil skirt is. I love it. <laughs> Got 
Did you get a haircut, Antho? I just cut lunch pails the other day. I cut his hair for him. I won't let anybody else touch it. Yeah, I was really going for like a mullet kind of look. Or no, not a mullet, a uh, skullet. <laughs> I was going to correct you, but I'm like, no, nah, I'll let him have this. Oh, One it's of the those boss guys. from the first game. At least, like, I've seen him before. Yeah, you, you know what a skullet is, right? <laughs> yeah. Me neither. Well, when I finally go bald all the way up top, I'll just let it grow down. So Will my you ears. wear it in a ponytail every day? No, like, I do no, the Hulk Hogan. No, you should. No, put it no, in a ponytail no, no. for Hulk me. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Okay. Are you going to go bleach blonde? Yes. Uh, That's the whole okay. point. Okay. He is Hulk Hogan, right? Is he still alive? He probably is. Yeah, he is. All them drugs and steroids. Ugh. Compared to me, it's just drugs. You have lots of time, Antho, to decide whether or not you want to do any tattoos or anything. I can't wait to get my next one. I'm dying. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Hannah. Oh, wow. Yep. Restart that. I wasn't actually expecting that. <laughs> Okay, there it is. That. Yeah, keep going, Hannah. I'm sorry. No, Antho just says he doesn't have any tattoos or anything like that. Yes, Lunch's hair is mine and mine only. Nobody else is allowed to touch it. Hairdressers. I shouldn't say never do what you want. I have a very good hairdresser. I have a wonderful hairdresser. But I've been to... I, actually, I will say I have been to a couple of good hairdressers. The one I have now is just, she's a wizard. What she does is witchcraft. Um, but I find with men's hair, most hairdressers don't care. They just give you... Give you the, short. Yeah, they give you the old chop and that's it. That's give disgusting me the old and that's got to regrow and blech. I hate it. But I keep Lunch's hair in a way that like... We try to... I cut it regularly so that it kind of always looks the same. Jesus Christ, how many is there? Is that more than one bloater? And a runner? Stab him! Oh my god. What am I gonna do against the bloater? Oh. Oh. Ooh. It's gonna be tricky. Suspenders? I have used suspenders. Uh, and when though, I was big into my Steve Urkel phase in the 90s. Did you really? Oh, yeah. I was like rainbow suspenders. My mom made me wear them. I got picked on a lot. Yeah, I bet your mom made you wear them. You collected them, didn't you? I just found that out. That's news to me, Antho. Um... I do have a couple of pairs of suspenders. I love suspenders. He says, I guess it isn't that hard if lunch or I guess it isn't hard if lunch is that ball. Yes. <laughs> well, one of these days it will he's be. He's not really. He's ball ding. You have to <laughs> honor the ding. <laughs> yes, there's a Simpson joke. <laughs> no. His hair is a little thin on top, but he's not balding. Balding. Well, that's why we had to dip the camera off the stream, right? Because nobody respected the ding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Anthem. The more you know, you're right. You are right. Sucks I can't jump back up, can I? This is going to be a hard one. At least I feel like I'm playing Last of Us again. Although these encounters are really weird. Two bloaters? This was a boss fight in the first game. Watch it! How? He didn't yes, see me. Dina, give away our position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Thank God Dean is here. <laughs> They're going to take multiple shots. I got a sneak bottom. That's amazing. You get found out right away. So if you hide... We'll just try and sneak by that guy. Because why not? Okay, I'm trying desperately, but I need a pee break. I can't make a full two hours. No, I tried to, but I left like 20 minutes ago. So take your time. Oh. What was the ding process, Antho? You'll have to refresh my memory. Look out! I'm not really quite sure what to do here. Oh, can I break both windows? I mean, I shouldn't be allowed to restart so many times. That's what I don't like about this. Is that both? It's both right there. Oh, I hit the ceiling. The ball thing. Yeah, you know, the thing has been going on for a while now. Oh, that went through both windows. Nobody seems to respect the ding. You're back, Hannah. She needs a drink. I think I need a drink. How come I haven't been drinking whiskey? I feel like I get better the more I play. Did he just see Dina? I was friggin' couch crouched. Oh, he's alive. He didn't see me. Got yeah, time this right. Listen, Anto, it's been a while. All that hair that you thought was there is gone. It's just a whole bunch of ding. This is stupid. You don't even want to watch what I'm doing here. Get out of here. You died. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's funny. Like the last <laughs> game encouraged encounters. This game deters you. Really. Well, you gotta think. You're dealing with two different people. Look at the her stature versus Joel. Yeah, but she can Joel is a man that it was in good shape when the apocalypse hit and then spent twenty stealth? years training on how to kill these things. She can stealth kill clickers in this game. Something that was impossible in the first game with Joel. That's a good point. Shouldn't be, if that's the case. Yes, that's the whole thing. In this encounter, you got two bloaters right in front of you. All out of them. I got no They're materials. Old. Well, that's your own fault. I used them in the previous encounters. Uh, Antho says, well, lunch, I'm going to sleep. See you later, Hannah. And lunchera? Well, thanks, Antho. Antho. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, yep. my friend. Always a pleasure. Love seeing you here, buddy. Have a good night. I 
think they're blind. Bloaters are, yeah. Loncherra. Love that. That's so cool. If they're blind. I should be able Let to just... Let Dina's side, like, put her light right on him then. No, I'm just gonna stand here. I shouldn't be in his path if he turns around. Thanks, Antho, buddy. You too. See you next time. Thanks, Thanks. Antho. <laughs> lunch out his lunch stand. This is gonna be Lunch Pail's last stand. This encounter here. If I had a Molotov cocktail, huh? They'd be done, yeah. Oh, he's coming to eat ya. Oh, you're dead. Oh, why is my butt warmer so hot? Wow, that's only a level one. Why is that so hot? Oh, good. So quiet, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Have you ever... Yeah, there was one other encounter down in the sewers in the last one where you had two bloaters, wasn't there? Was that in that... This one or that one? No, this is the first time I've seen it. Two bloaters? Yeah. No, there was one in underneath the water where you were up on the van and stuff like that. A green van. There was two bloaters then. Really? Uh-huh. By that drunk. Maybe. I'm just looking and see where we can go. I'm gonna be dead in one hit. Whoa, it missed. What is going on in there? Thanks. Oh, here they come. <laughs> oh, Dina's got them. Dina's got it with her unlimited pistol ammo. You need Lara Croft. Oh, look. At least I found where we have to go. Oh, don't make me walk through. Okay. Woo! Grounded mode, huh? Uh huh. Same like you said, though, you didn't have to actually beat the encounter. It seems like this is the whole game. It's just like you have to sneak through anything. You can't really stealth. Shamblers? Is that what they call them? Shamblers? Yeah. Where the hell do shamblers come from? I thought it was a bloater. I don't fucking know. But they're disgusting. Yeah, why are they changing the lingo? Storage? Looks clear. Good. Probably somewhere dumb where we have to crawl through something. Shit. Needs a combination. Was there something in here? No. All right, let's take a peek around here and see if we can find a ammo or something. Forget the code again. Get me a soda, and the code is your. Have to read. Uh, miraculous survival in suburb thought abandoned. Lower Queen Anne. Military forces were surprised yesterday to discover a whole community alive and well. 
while the surrounding neighborhoods were entirely overrun with victims of the cordyceps infection that has been ravaging the nation, these survivors had managed to keep their streets and homes clear, all by themselves, for the past six months. Found just days away from running out of food, it's a story worthy calling of a miracle. The community members unanimously accredited their survival to one woman, torn, than just any ordinary prepper. Pepper? Prepper, oh. He had at least stocked her bunker with enough supplies for the entire neighborhood. When the oh, okay, so the note is like ripping in half. Yeah, I and see. She'd find yeah. So just yeah, it's like why? Like, <laughs> am I having a stroke? <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> no, you must be. <laughs> what did this say? Forget the code again. Give me a soda, and the code is yours. Okay, is it on the soda machine? <laughs> That's dumb. Yeah. It, really? Five, one, two. Okay, five, one, two. Let's see. I actually can't move the controller anymore. Oh. I thought I had it right. Five, one, two. Tony let me pick three numbers. Oh, you can only... Oh, okay. These door locks, you can only pick the number once. Did I pick three, four? Ugh. The reset button. Bottom two. Hmm. Five, one... Okay, that's not what the note said. One, five, two. Hannah, where are you at? It's tilted on the side, huh? To see it. We were looking at that can upside down. Five, two, four, three. One, five, four, two, three. Oh, sorry, one. Yes. I was no help to him. Hacking the system. <laughs> well, let's, that's a good place. Here? What are you looking for? What did you just pick up? Need to tell us. It came through my mic, so <laughs> sorry. There's no uh, no <laughs> getting tried. around that one. I, I tried so hard. <laughs> no getting around that one. I'd be embarrassed if I were you. Oh, you know what I was using? I was making medikits. That's why I don't have uh, stuff from material. Uh, you know that thing? The firebombs? Still never gotten here yet, actually. Can't imagine you have to climb through a roof. <laughs> I 
I mean, that's what it kind of looks like. It does. I mean, I'm looking in. I don't see anything. Is there anything. something that you can push to jump up on that thing? No. Go back in. Doesn't let you interact with it at all or jump on it. But I'm saying, is there anything that you can push that'll let you jump? Oh, it lets you jump on the table. Any long jump? No. That can't be it. Is this a joke? You're not supposed to. Locked. Like it's kind of like my Silent Hill playthroughs. If it says it's locked, you can get in there. <laughs> if it's jammed, though, you can't. Oh, mm -hmm. freak off. Well. That's dumb. We should just hide, spend the rest of our lives in here. Yeah, I mean, why not? Oh, yes. Good job, Ellie. Is that that hey, woman that does the syrup, maple syrup? Like the lady from the scar graffiti. Yeah. Oh. And Jemima? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. After the shit we saw today, I'm not sure I want to find out. Or like a religious cult or something. Let's take a w quick walk around, make sure there's no more items we missed. This little area. So close. Jump down. Oh. We have more bloaters. Do probably. We'll give it one shot here. That's a bloater, yeah. Sound like you like the bloaters. I kinda do. I mean, you know me. I love having the shit scared out of me, and the more terrifying slash gruesome a thing can be, the more I enjoy it. So what are you expecting with Silent Hill 2 in the hospital? I'm done, I'm not playing that anymore. <laughs> you're not you're done, are you? They're not throwing another nightmare hospital at me, that's not fair. And the fucking nurses are armed. As if they weren't bad enough, they're like, no, nah, you know what, give them a fucking lead pipe. Yeah, yeah I know, no. it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's bullshit. What happened there? What the? What the F? He punched you in the ribs, and you got... Got electrocuted. Pan fries, <laughs> yeah. Like, like a punch. <laughs> Lunch's last stand. Is that like some sort of trap? Is that what that is? Watch it! Damn it. All right, last try. have to become one with the environment. I am a stealth ninja. They do not see me. Did you ever read White, com uh, White Ninja comics growing up? White Ninja comics? No, I never even actually heard of them. Really? I'm going to show you these. I used to love them. And it's just this, like, pencil drawing of a ninja that they were too lazy to even color in his black clothing. So they called him White Ninja. 
I'm surprised you know how to read. I'll be honest. Yeah, I get it. I mean, you know music, but music and reading, they don't, they're not the same thing. No, no. You hear the saying, read and music? Don't read music. This is the door? Nope. Running around in the dark, I'm so lost. Nope, not oh, going that's that a way. Oh, God. Running back up the stairs. Oh, what I the? I got caught. You got bitch slap. It's two hours, guys, so I'm getting pretty tired. That's probably why I'm still dying. I'll be honest with you guys. So we'll be back uh, right at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't know when. You have to make you play some Silent Hill, huh? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Free from the serpent's mouth. No? Yeah, no. Uh, uh, I don't know. Flower? <laughs> Flowers. I'll play it again, but you're going to have to. You owe me one. I do. I do. Anyways, thanks for everybody hanging out tonight, Antho, Wiggins. Don't know if we missed anybody, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew was here. Somebody I never met before was here tonight, too. Your name. Oh, uh, uh, X Dash. X, yes. Dash yes. sounds right. Anyway, guys, we always appreciate you guys stopping by, and it's always a blast, and can't wait to see Seven you next time. Seven likes on the stream, too, yes, guys. That's thank awesome. You guys. So we'll be back again soon. Thanks again for